Hey, what's up everyone? It's your friend 23 here, and welcome back to a new episode of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. In the last episode, we found the... Um, the Skyview Tower for this part of the map. And also we went into the Kuroko Forest. So we, let's just uh, keep going from where we left off last time, and do this shrine. Oh, it's a dark shrine, huh? Shining in darkness. So I guess it will be enemies over in here also. If I could guess. Maybe we should just throw one of these out. Just to see yeah. what we're what we're working with here. Okay. So maybe no Maybe it was no enemies here. Are we gonna use this light for something? Is it like a labyrinth in here? And will that wall do something if I pass it? Here we have lasers. Okay, okay. Yep. I guess I guess that the laser here will activate these spikes so let's try not to touch them what do we have here okay they are just closely closing like that okay. then we have something here and we have a Turn to the right there. Let's go here. This this thing. That's a chest. Nice. I wonder if it would be, have been easier to just use a gloom, um, a bright bloom seed on, on a weapon or something here. I will check this place out also, maybe it's one more chest here, yeah. So that thing feels a bit sus. A lot of chests in this uh, in this shrine here. Of course, one of them were a key, but three other chests with uh, with items. That's not as usual. And we're done. I think we're gonna teleport to the other shrine we unlocked yesterday, on the last episode. Okay, so here, I'm just gonna quick travel to this shrine. Let's do it. Spinning gears. Okay. This is enough. Oh, the ball already fell. <laughs> I just missed it.
Okay, so I guess this is just doing this and then rewinding it after. That should be enough. And I guess we're gonna rewind this thing. Was it any... Any chests here that I missed? I really don't think so. Guess we're done then. It's a bit bit too easy shrine actually. Now we're also one one shrine away from um, from two up health upgrades, so we're gonna wait for one more before we pray. Okay, and why I'm backtracking to this place is because, yes, in last video we got four quests here. Four side adventures even. Um, so let's go to those. Here we have them. I think it's these fours. Or these four. We're gonna start with this, the owl protected by dragons. The Sonai researcher castle found a monolith inscribed with the following. Display the power of the Sage of Wind to the Owl protected by many dragons. Try investigating Typhal ruins to find the place described on the monolith. Okay, so we need to find an Owl that is protected by many dragons in these ruins here. And here I'm also actually thinking that building a flying car could make this search a bit quicker because I'm thinking with with the height we can actually maybe find the things we're searching for quicker but here it's a Kuroko so we're gonna start with this okay I think it's like this oh um maybe not yeah Maybe it's also would have been smarter to read all these four for quests before we start searching. But here we have something. It's also guarded by enemies. Whoa, forgot to take out the parachute. Ooh, mighty construct bow is nice. A lot of nice loot also with the arrows and everything. Okay, so what do we have here? We have... It's like three heads here. So that was an owl. Display the power of the Sage of Fire to blaze through the space between two dragons from head to tail. Display the power of the, the presence of six dragons. And then we have display the power of the Sage of Lightning at the end of the long dragon that protects the mountain of death. What is the mountain of death? That's the mountain of death. We have something protecting the mountain of death in these ruins, huh? Protects the mountain of death. I have no clue. But here is like three heads. And also a shrine is this way. Now I'm gonna get sidetracked for the shrine. <laughs> That's classic. Maybe we should take the car with us, if we're gonna go that far. This is like three heads. So I don't think that's the owl in between two dragons, that cannot be. 
Display the power of the Sage Wind to the owl protected by many dragons. Yeah. Let's go and do the shrine first. Oh my god. But there I think I s might have seen something. No. I was like, those stones is a bit sus. Or are they? Oh my god. There we go. Don't tell me that this shrine is like in a cave somewhere. Then I'm gonna not do it right now. Below us, yeah. That makes sense though. But then it will be a problem for another time and I'm gonna just... Put one shrine here, just to know it's in this approximate... Like, close by here. Hmm. So now we're back here, huh? Is it for real no use with this thing here? It might actually not be. Let's continue then. We still haven't found an... Anything. <laughs> what is this place right here? That's bad. I also took way too much... Um, yeah, I should have he healed there. I'm not sure what I did. <laughs> I guess the car is gone now, because I died. But maybe that's for the better, actually. It could be fun to fight, fight our way around there. Also, these uh, constructs here drop really good loot when they die. Like this uh, soldier construct horn is super nice. And also, I would like to do a successful sneak on this enemy here. Because they are usually pretty tanky. That's good. Oh my god, it survived. Boom. I'm probably gonna drop some type of bow here for... Maybe not, actually. Maybe drop this. Why not? So nice, Wardown. Could be nice fusing that with something. Why not? <laughs> I don't think anything of value was there. You could argue that this is a lot of... Um, Something. <laughs> Let's see the the quests here. So it's no space between two dragons from head to tail, and then we have here display the power of sage of water in the presence of six dragons. Is this one, two, three, four, five, six? Yeah, so sage of water. <laughs> Uh, 
Maybe they want us to use the water... Like in this thing? Nope. Could I be like closer up? I'm using my sage of water here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Am I stupid? <laughs> Do I need to... No. Like, isn't this six dragons? Who knows? Oh my god. But also that, that thing, like the sinking... Uh, Sludge, which one should call it, that this, that that is here is a bit sus as well. Display the power of the Sage of Water in the presence of the six dragons. Maybe it's not the six dragons then. But here I think I saw some type of tail, maybe. This is in between two. Oh, I think we have something to do here actually. Here are two things. Bet the corridor between two dragons. Sage of Fire, so we need to... Take you out. Okay, can you... What? Is this not the correct thing? Was to... I'm not sure what's happening. <laughs> A chest, huh? That's nice. So one of them are done. The end of the long dragon that protects the mountain of death. So I guess a large tail should be somewhere here. But also maybe closer to the, to the mountain there. No good. Wow, that's not good. Here we have one thing. Maybe here. This looks a bit weird actually. I heard him, I saw him, but I didn't think about the low amount of HP I had. has the spear which is outranging me but I think I managed with the damage here before he, he will get a chance yeah. there we go that's just a Kuroko huh? It doesn't feel so good that we only have found one of the four places.
But like this is actually a pretty don't one shot them now. That was no risk. Here you are. Here is the owl, I think. Okay, we need the Sage of Wind. Okay, we can also look for these square things in the ground. They are a pretty telling sign, actually. To where the, the correct places are. this okay. this looks like one of those um, that will go up and give us a chest Maybe that's the um, the one guarding the death mountain. It sure looks like it, and there is one of those. We should just, I guess, find the tail on this. That goes to the head, huh? And here also you are. Let me just put a Roko stamp down. Okay, so did it want which one did it want me to use here? Uh, the long dragon. Display the power of the sage of lightning at the end of the long dragon that protects the mountain of death. Okay. So is this the end? Yes, it is. That means we have one left. Display the power of the Sage of Water in the presence of the six dragons. In the presence of the six dragons. It really feels like it should be that place that we were in the beginning there. Maybe not. What do we have here? One, two, three, four, five, six. Maybe this is the six dragons. Don't really think so, but doesn't hurt trying. tired of just running around now so I'm just gonna take this out and then we have to try to find the last one we should find six yes dragon heads of some sort
That place is so sus. It's so, so sus. And it also has a platform. So then it means that this is the correct place. Freaking hell. You just give me the, the water dude. Do I need, need, need to do it on the platform? No. I promise that this is the correct one. Why don't you like my water power? I'm displaying it for you. It really is this place, but what the hell? <laughs> Why doesn't it work? One, two, three, four, five, six. Just read again here. The six dragons. Display the power of the Sage of Water in the presence of the six dragons. I'm so lost. I'm super lost here. But actually, here is also one of those squares. But I don't see six dragons here though. I'm not sure what I'm doing at the moment. I wanted to gain the height from the thing, but it didn't work. Okay. Third. Why doesn't it work, huh? Like, do I need to <laughs> fall down in the water, maybe? Do I need, like... Oh, wow. Was that it, for real? I will probably cut down a bit of my trying here, because cause that was a bit weird. That they wanted me to use a heavy attack like that. That's not the most clear quest, actually. Okay, so now when we're done with this... Ooh, okay. Okay, nice. I was like... Those rewards for the side adventures was a bit underwhelming. 
Because it was only like opals in every one of them. But that one new place has opened up is quite nice actually. Okay. Where did it go though? Where did that place go? Maybe we should talk to this dude also. Because he is in fact our uh, boss. He told us ourselves that he was. So let's talk to you then. Oh. My trust assistant, you're back. Ah, now. Now we know where it is also. I thought I could hear a loud noise from deep within the ruins. You heard that too, right? That was unsettling. I wonder what might have caused it. Let's go and uh, explore it then. Ah, so it was this place. Okay. I guess no time to wait. Let's just go down here. Ooh, is it a last, uh, a last side adventure? Hey! hey, hello. Are you there? We literally talked two mm. seconds ago. But this is what was waiting for us beneath the ruins. Wait, you found another monolith? If it was hidden away down here, there's almost certainly something important written upon it. Oh, my heart is pounding. Shall we read it, Derby? We dare. Here we are. Allow me. A monument to loyalty. Hyrule owes its peace today to the gift that King Raru gave unto us in his noble feat of imprisoning the Demon King. Wait, King... Raru, imprisoning the Demon King? Raru is named in legends, in legend as the first king of Hyrule. And this mention of imprisoning the Demon King, this monolith, is no doubt a chronicle of his imprisoning, of the imprisoning war. My heart won't stop pounding, let's read on. The great battle ended with a seal, began... The great battle ended with a seal, began with support from the sages, each of whom bore a shining secret stone. Among these were four Hyru Hyrulans, loyal warriors all, who hastened to King Raru's aid as their oath demanded. They are the pride of the peoples of Hyrule. This stone monument is dedicated to the loyalty that will echo through time. I see. In other words, this rune is dedicated to the sages who fought with Raru, the first king of Hyrule. It was built by Hylians afterwards. That explains why there was Highland text on the monolith we found. <laughs> what a discovery. I'm astonished to find, find some so profound a secret hidden in these long buried ruins, so full of mystery. Ah. I'll stay here for now to analyze what's written on this monolith. Once my heart's rate returns to normal, I'll swing by the survey team base in Kakariko and turn my findings into a book. <laughs> I can't wait to see the looks on their faces. Ah. Oh, this is gonna be great. Oh, whoops. I completely forgot to give you a reward. Mm. I never could have solved the mystery of these ruins without you, my assistant. You have my thanks. That's it, huh? Please take this. And a big battery. And this too as a bonus. Okay. Now it's now it's a bit mm -hmm. more worth. If you came all this way just to see some ruins, you must be almost as fanatical about Sonai history as I am. So please enjoy these Sonai artifacts I discovered. Mementos to remind you of our time working together. Oh. Now, fear not. Since I'll be sticking around a while, you can come back if you ever like to talk ruins and relics. In the meantime, happy trails. Goodbye, my trusty assistant. Goodbye, goodbye. Also. What is this? Mm. Wow. A slender claymore thought to have been handed down to the kingdom Hyrule ages ago. The blade shines with a holy luster. Yeah. I don't want to use up that sword. So actually, we are not done here. We're gonna go back. But I just wanna quickly stop by at my house. And just drop off some weapons here. Maybe we should have done one more shrine in beforehand. But that's a bit too late now. Let 
yeah, that's like the worst entrance ever. <laughs> On the wrong side. So let's just pray, because we... We have enough for at least one. And also, we're gonna go and redo the w the building here for a bit, because it's not the most efficient use of everything. Uh, I'll start building. Oh. Okay, so first of all. Just take away a lot of things. The storage. Cooking station we want. We want praying room also. We don't need picture room. And this is entrance. Yes, we don't need second stairs as well. In this new design. Why not just move on this as well? Bye-bye <laughs> room. This one we want still. So like, let's start with that. Uh, I'm done. Hopefully the rooms get into storage now, those that I have put mm. on the outside, yeah. <laughs> oh. And uh, let's start ah. building again. Ah. Mm. Okay, so I will need more rooms. Ah. I think we need to sell first, yeah, because we have zero cash. Did I miss the worst? Yeah, here they are. We can probably sell one diamond. So I know we have some quests that wants three. And now we have even amount. We have six. Eleven. We can do this one down to nine, maybe. And this one down to seven. <laughs> this one. Why not down to twelve? Mm. Oh, don't ah. wanna sell the last one. And here, let's do thirteen. <laughs> oh. Ah. So here we wanna buy. <laughs> both of these. Ah. Both of these. <laughs> oh. <laughs> ah. <laughs> oh. And this. <laughs> ah. And now we're broke again. But I don't think we need anything more, right? Nope. Ah.
Okay, so 14 out of 15 if we use everything here now. So we have cooking. We have some type of... Oh, that's the weapon, but it's upside down. That's not good. Entrance, horsey thing, but the, like what I feel, the horsey thing is a bit unnecessary actually, for now. So let's just put it outside. Can we somehow... Is this place also this is is this the bed yeah that's the bed okay so if we're thinking entrance here something like that can the dude please get out of the way because if you do it like center like this and I guess you can keep on building. So if that's the... Shield room. We want the shield rooms to be next to each other. Those are the same. I think that's bow. I think this is also bow. So here we can put this room like this. And then we can put the last bow room there as well. Let's have to move this first. So I feel like it could be open for um, at the on the kitchen side here. But then you could have the house like this and still have an entrance from when you come from the sh shrine, which is how you usually get here. So if we have the rooms like that, then I guess we're gonna take this. This. I think this is uh, swords. This is bows. This is praying station. This is weapons as well. Or swords, rather. The bows are also weapons. The house is gonna be really wide. <laughs> But I hope we will manage either way. That's praying. What is this then? That's the last weapon stand. Nice. Is it too wide already? Don't tell me it is. So freaking big. It actually is, huh? Yeah. That's sad. That's really sad, though. I'm thinking, is it some way to to do this more? But maybe if we put the house on the diagonal, it's not gonna be too wide, actually. 
Because you have more uh, space. Yes, attach those for now. Move this in out of the way. And then we're gonna try it. If we're lucky, we will manage this. I think we will manage, actually. If we put it like that... Oh, that's so close, though. But it's inside, it's inside. And we're gonna stop move it, because that's inside, and it's gonna be inside on the other side as well. But here we put one extra, that's the thing, huh? So if we're cooking there, maybe we want... We want praying or bed on the other side. Maybe bed. I'm just gonna try if it's possible. So it would be nice to have the same amount of buildings on both sides. But that's that's only two, huh? And oh no, it's only two on both sides. That's correct. And because we know it's overflowing on the other side, we can take it on this part, I guess, and then just. I think this will be enough, to be honest. I have a hard time believing it, but that's like as close as you can get. Oh my god. That is so close though. But I think if we manage with the rotation a bit here... We might actually be able to do this. Yep. That's super close, but it's just enough space, which is nice. That's crazy. Okay, let's keep on building. So now we have praying station. And shield rooms left. And my thinking with this is like a little tower, maybe. No, oh, but this is bows. Yeah, 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 shields is already on the first floor. That's correct. <laughs> And then let's just put this in the middle here. Well, it's like the most ugly house ever. But it's pretty functional though, and that's the most important thing. We can even slap on the stable because we have space for it. I think this time, put it like that. Yeah. I'm done. Oh. Uh, I'm done. Ah. So I would say this... This was much better building than the first house I built. It's not so beautiful. But you got the most important part, and that is storage for weapons. And I hope it was shields all the way here. Yeah. Okay, so let's start filling them up then. Oh, 
items. I wanna destroy the fuse on that one. Why not have one skateboard displayed? <laughs> and I guess this one as well. There we go. That should mean that we have a picture on those and on those, but I don't think I have a picture on these. gonna this one is one I don't want to use because it's feels super rare why not display that why not this here we already have weapons as you deserve display this one really deserves a display. <laughs> I guess this, why not? Oh my god. Okay, so on weapons you all, you must... Almost photographed on two places, huh? <laughs> I need to redo all the pictures on the weapons sometime off cam, I guess. Oh, is this a uh, cobbler crusher? Then I'm gonna take it actually. And destroy the fuse. Yeah. Oh, this one we wanna display. That's correct. Is that one we don't need to have on us? A gloom sword. And so I guess when we're in the entrance, we can use um, Ascend to get to the bow room. King's bow is a given. Also, I think why not this? And the frick bow. some bows as well. Nice. And then you can just ascend out. That's actually a good house, I would say. And actually, because we have a cooking station here, I was thinking 
let's cut this episode a bit shorter here. So let's end it for this, this episode right here. If you have enjoyed watching this episode, please consider liking the video. It helps me a lot. Also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. This has been 23. I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.